And today we are bringing you a gift from God. God says He loves you and so do we. We believe that we're much more than basketball players and that the hope that we do give these kids, it provides more to them knowing that uh, males can, you know, be a positive source for them because most of them see males as uh, abusers or kidnappers or something like that. And for them to see uh, basketball players who are males, big tall men come to them to their aid, uh, it really means a lot to them. What's been great about Samaritan's Feet for me is that I've included my family in this. This has been a family affair. So uh, RJ and I, we've been able to do this for a long time. I mean, he's kind of grown up with, with Samaritan's Feet and, and going overseas and some of the things that we've done to be able to help uh, children. So he's been a big part of this. And I've been really proud of him and what he's accomplished more off the court than he has on the court because he's been tremendous that way. Um, he's taken a great leadership role, uh, whether it's in our family or whether it's with the team. When we do those types of things, he's always uh, uh, I think the whole giving back and serving part of, of it, you know, he's got a servant's attitude. And that's something as a father, I appreciate that more of his attitude of being a servant than I do of him being an All-American. I don't people really know the effort that it takes to have a, a complete and successful shooter distribution. It has to take everybody to be on the same page and everybody on that day to be as unselfish as it can be. And uh, from 18, 19, and 20 year olds, uh, as greedy as we can be, as greedy college basketball players we can be, uh, everybody put everything to the side for at least three or four days and try to help a community of kids. And uh, I, I know it looks good from the outside, but if people could just see what goes on and, and how unselfish we act on that day, it's, it's something that, uh, that I'll never forget. This year we did have the opportunity to play four games in Costa Rica in which everybody was able to play with each other and get to know each other better instead of just playing against each other. And the competition we faced in Costa Rica really challenged us because we played in some tough conditions where there were, wasn't any AC on. Um, so, you know, just to face those challenges helped us get to where we are now and hopefully it will help us for the rest of the season. Great time I was just down in Texas Week and only live once. Gotta have a great time. I'm <laughs> gone! <laughs> 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 It was just a blessing for us to be able to come in and change these kids' lives. You know, some of them may not have a pair of shoes, and some of them may not have somebody to talk to. So for us to come in and give them those shoes and talk to them, even though sometimes we can't communicate to them, it meant a lot to us, and I'm pretty sure it meant a lot for them. Panther family, I hope you enjoyed it. It was awesome. We'll see you when we get back.